Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Luvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Plan. You'll hear the aftermath soon enough. Be a good fight. I faith it. Fedowitz's plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Fedowitz's army. Eivor, over here. On the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Jarl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days where the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curs. Both of you, traitorous schemers. Enough, Hafton. Name your traitors when the fighting's done. Easy for you. Nobody's poisoning your damn wine. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. These Picts came in great numbers. They came to fight. If this is a trip. Tame 
turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out, but they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> Kingdom has spoken!
for Thor, for Ragnar, for Hafton! Ah, the sweet taste of victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. to the north. You meet the spirits this day, traitor.
faithful counsellor. Please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favours left to offer you, Rishi. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends and my allies will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Halfton about. Eivor, welcome. I'm on my head. Halfton has stepped well, outside with Barabin. If I... They shouldn't be far. <laughs> Cast about this land, my friend. I struggle to be surprised. I was caught off guard, but I should not have been. The fog set in and I could not see the forest before me. Old friend. Long ago we stormed this sea of wagons under winter's blanket. You have stood at my side for many long years. Proudly, brother. Come. Let's share the balm of all torment, the soothing liquid of chaos. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. No greater honor than to serve. I will wait for the day I earn a place at your side. A thirsty foe? If you suck it... I have no iron stone! I'm ready to shake asses with you! 
enjoying the festivities? Good kissed, yes! Happy to be here! The crowning of a new king, it's not something I've seen this close. Moira, how are things in weekend? I get by. There will always be those who dislike me, but how I handle their ire is up to me. So yes, things are mostly well. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, stout oak of Valkyries, spinner of battle wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <laughs> <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison. <laughs> you gifted me madness. Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. She's your weapon, Ferovit. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Hafton, stop! This is a man of honor! You stand beside this... this traitor? I do. Let truth guide us here, not madness. I am Halfdan Ragnarsson, wolf of war, lord of Jorvik, ruler of men! I am king! Not my king. I will not bow to a man who accuses me of treason. Days yet to come, men will sing the praises of Haftan and scorn the life of Faravid the betrayer. You are the hero of a coward's tale, a man who hid behind his best men and claimed their victories for his own. You are banished. Out! Never again set foot in my lands! Thank you, King. I... No more. Leave me. You 
are fearfully quiet, Sabor. One should never break a silence without reason. I fear for Northumbria, now that Hafton is king. Many may suffer if his madness goes unchecked. And who is to blame for his madness, Ferovic? I should demand an apology for that, but there is no need. Soon I shall be long gone, far away across the way road where the fates guide me. End of the road. Goodbye, Eivor. Did you know about the goblets? The lid? Now's the time for truth. I hope one day we may raise our spears together, old friend. We hope for many things in this life, yet we earn so few of them. me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Tell her the good news. Hi, Tabor. Hello, Eivor. Good day. I entered Jovikshire to meet Halft and Jarl. I left a friend of Halfdan the king. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. <clears throat> Uber Ragnarsson, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. Also, I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you. I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother, one I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolfkist. 
And may we meet again soon, on a battlefield if the fates are kind. I wonder how Hafton fares now that he sits on the throne. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pichiringa with his beloved Bayonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moira. Pichiringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. We need our glorious Hafton back, strong and sure. We need our... I need your eyes, my friend. No glory, no hope. Nothing but snow, silent as a corpse in its grave. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> Up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. You kept this from me. It was no secret. Uba knew, did he not? Leave me. I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Eivor. I'll find your hammer, and then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there.
Show me what lies ahead. <laughs> there is Biontan guarding the hammer. What see you, old friend? needs his hammer. The lighthouse, Hafton awaits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Hafton. Remember that next time. <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? Ivar murdered an innocent man. A good man. He earned the death I gave him. Hmm. If the codes of honor demanded his death, you did what had to be done. Beonton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. Do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn.
Welcome at my home. <laughs> 